Man, I love the holidays. Man, I am I am nervous for Thanksgiving. We're gonna be in California, and it will be Elle's first flight, and it's like almost six hours from here to LA, depending on tailwinds, headwinds, I don't know, sidewinds, whatever. Hopefully, there's no sidewinds. That doesn't sound good. But she doesn't like being in the car seat, and now the FAA highly recommends buying a seat for the baby and putting the baby in the car seat. And so I'm like, I'm gonna wind up paying for a seat and holding the baby because she's not gonna want to be in there. It's I'm worried that her ears are gonna hurt and you know, I'm like losing sleep over it. <laughs> it's worrying me. And I also think about all the flights that I've taken in the past 30 something years and how many times there's been a crying baby and how many times I get annoyed, but then I think to myself, one day that will be you. So don't curse at them or hit them with your shoe. And I never did. And I'm hoping that people aren't dicks. Well, isn't she normally asleep? It, it doesn't work that way, Katie. I can't, I, I don't know where the planes come from. I don't know when they're going to leave. We're getting picked up at five o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'll tell you, it's going to be an early flight. It's, the, it's actually a great flight because we leave here at 7.30. We get in LA at 9.30 and you have the whole freaking day. You're exhausted, but you have the whole freaking day. What were we doing? Today we're going to be talking about flexibility, okay? A little art yoga for you. Yeah, you like that? No, we're not talking about art yoga. Uh, that's not even a thing. We should make that a thing. Okay, art yoga. So today, flexibility. Why is this important? I think it's an overlooked thing by artists or at least taken for granted that your paint is or is not flexible. I think a lot of times the assumption is my paint is flexible and I can do certain things. Like for example, I can restretch. I can paint on any surface. I can roll this up and bring it with me. But that is not entirely true. Paint flexibility, is this thing wobbling on me? It feels wobbly. Okay, well everybody hold on because I have to go fix this. Can somebody, Will, lend me your ear. Just crunch down on it, man. Crunch. You don't have to say crunch. On a On a Two years, we haven't figured out a better microphone system. <laughs> so why does it matter that you are aware of the flexibility of the paint you're using? Well, I think the biggest message is crack kills paintings. And you don't want your paintings to crack. And cracking will happen if your paint is not flexible enough. What is one to do? Well, I'm here to explain to you the differences in different paints and their flexibility. Okay, that's that's my job. That's what, I, that's what I'm paid to do. That's what I came for. The most flex, I do this a lot, I notice in videos, and I also say things are important a lot. So like everything's important and I have to clap about it. Or very important. I think it's very important, Jamie. So the most flexible paint is acrylics because of just the way that they're designed. So what does that mean? Well, acrylic paint, I've painted it here. I had this on canvas pads, I painted it um, you know, thin and then thick, thickly applied here. Um, it's so thickly applied, in fact, it buckled the, uh, the canvas pad a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of show you that I can twist it and move it. Um, you know, I talked to our resident artist, Amy Gardner-Dean, um, host of our uh, Jerry's Live uh, on Facebook. And, you know, I said, well, with acrylics, you can, you can roll it up. And she goes, yeah, you can, you know, and, and this is the most flexible. But if you can avoid it, you might want to avoid it. There's only so much flex. And also, when you roll up canvas, uh, you might not even be conscientious if everything's dry. It could get stuck on the back. Um, there are things that can go on. But if you're going to restretch or tighten your canvas, uh, acrylics are very versatile. They can be painted on just about any surface uh, that you can think of, um, except for the surface of water, I guess. They were just thin. The next flexible paint is oil paint, OK? But oil paint isn't as straightforward as acrylic, okay? Acrylic is made with acrylic polymer. Oil paints are made with various oils, okay? There's more than one oil that goes into the way oil paints are made. Different vendors use different paints. And I'm gonna go through why. The most flexible oil is going to be linseed oil, okay? Linseed oil is the most flexible oil. It will not be as flexible as acrylics, but it is flexible. You can paint it on a stretched canvas or a canvas pad, and it will not, uh, you know, ruin the paint film if you restretch. Okay. Well, you might be asking me, okay, well, if if linseed oil is the most flexible, why don't they just use linseed oil across the board? Well, it's a little more complicated than that because we're dealing with organic materials. All right. So linseed oil is going to be, and you can see here has a little yellowish tint to it. Okay. This is. This is clarified, so this has been cleaned, but this is linseed oil as well. This is um, linseed stand oil. This is not clarified, so in its natural state, it yellows, and it has a tendency to yellow over time. So if you're using colors like, 
you know, ultramarine blue or something, it might not matter. But for your light colors, especially whites, you don't want a yellowing oil paint. So they go to other things, like they go to um, walnut oil, poppy oil, safflower oil. Uh, these oils are much paler in comparison, even to this clarified one. You seeing that? Um, but they are more brittle. They are not as flexible. Okay, so it's, it's just something that I want to make sure you understand. Now, along with this though, however, um, is, you know, I, I talk about Chelsea Classical Studio a lot and I, and I you know, I, I really just love their product. Just to show you, this is the walnut oil, okay, this is the pale oil. This is the Chelsea Classical Studio linseed oil extra pale. They clean the bejesus out of it. Wow. They clean it and it's non-yellowing over time because of their process. So um, if you're going to be using mediums, making your own mediums, uh, this is a great thing to use because it's the most flexible, non-yellowing, and it is actually paler than some of the more traditional considered pale oils. Does that make sense? And I'm hoping that eventually we're trying to make a line of oil paint um, made with the Chelsea Classical Studio because I said, hey, wait a second, if we made an oil paint that was all linseed oil across the board, non-yellowing, we could advertise this paint is the most flexible non-yellowing oil paint available. And that would, be, that would be true. I don't know if anybody cares, but yeah. So yeah, I hope that we do that. I hope that um, people at Chelsea Classical Studio do that. I think it'll be, be nice. I don't know if that's worth putting in the video, but you probably did anyway. So what is a non-flexible paint, okay? Uh, we've talked about oils and acrylics. I wanna move on to an acryl gouache. Now, gouache and acryl gouache are not considered to be flexible. Acryl gouache has a little bit more wiggle room, for lack of a better word, uh, because there is a, a little acrylic polymer in it, okay? But it is still not considered flexible. So I painted it on the same uh, pad that I painted these, but I've left it on the board for now. If you have a non-flexible paint, okay, and, and, and you see that nice finish and everything. If I start to, you know, crumble this up or move it around too much, this paint film is going to crack and flake up on me, okay? And that is because it is not designed to be flexible, so it has to be painted on uh, more rugged surfaces. Now, if you are aware of that already, you might have decided, well, I'm just not going to paint with acryl gouache because why bother? If I, if I can use acrylics on everything, why acryl gouache? Well, I'll tell you something, everything has its place. Acrylics are great. Acryl gouache is really great. I had Jamie do two identical paintings, one using traditional acrylics and one using acryl gouache. And just look at the color depth you can achieve with those beautiful matte colors that are super concentrated. Now, in the past, we've talked about acrylics paints and there's a maximum pigment load. Oil paints, you can add as much pigment as you want until it's like cement but acrylic has a certain point and then after that it loses its acrylic properties. So what acryl gouache really is, is a supercharged acrylic paint that has been overfilled with pigment. So pigmented that it's losing some of the acrylic qualities such as drying water fast or flexibility. I just blew everybody's mind, right? So it has its place and it's definitely worth trying and there's so many great options for surfaces. I mean, you can use panels or boards. I mean, we have tons of stuff that you can be painting on. I really like it. I mean, even just on the page here, it just looks so like luscious to me, just very vibrant. Doesn't it look luscious? L L Lucas? Lucas. So acrylic gouache does have a little acrylic polymer in it, so it will be a little bit more resilient. Um, this will re-wet though, because it has been, um, and, you see, and you see that, you see how it's flaking off like that? That is, um, that is the pigment and you can see underneath it looks a lot more like the acrylics because you know you're getting rid of that excess pigment but um the the paint film is is not waterproof so if i you know were to try to get that you see that that stays put with the acryl gouache it's only it's only like a, like water resistant so what are some other things that are flexible and non-flexible flexible colored pencil is considered flexible and oil pastel is considered flexible what are some other things that are not considered flexible just so that we can cover a lot of our bases encaustic paints are not considered flexible and so, uh, soft pastels are not considered flexible which means if you use them on a surface that is not stiff you can damage your paint film okay that's that's the bottom line with that. As we wrap up our Artist Problem Series 2017, I want to wish everybody a very happy holidays. Uh, we'll be back 
Uh, next year with uh, new content, I've got a lot of great ideas. I got to tell you, they just keep coming to me. They just keep coming. Uh, I have to do something about it, but yeah. Uh, but we'll be back uh, next year. Enjoy your holidays. In the meantime, I hope you eat, I hope you drink, and I hope you follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, uh, where uh, maybe we'll uh, look at some pictures of uh, of my trip to California. What do you think? See how she does on the plane. When I, if you want to know what happens, yeah, follow on Instagram. I'll, I'll post. This is her on the plane. She'll either look re like it'll be like a comedy or tragedy mask, you know, one way or the other. I hope we survive. Might not. Anyway, and there's art stuff on there too, so that's good. Anyway. Uh, thanks so much. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah for those of you that celebrate. And we will see you next year. And is there anything else I forgot, Will? Oh, what I forgot to mention. While I'm gone, uh, at some point we'll be releasing a, a best of video uh, where we're going to take some of our favorite moments from 2017 and put them in one long blooperish kind of thing, which will hopefully you guys will have fun with. Because apparently I say a lot of dumb you're just sitting there nodding. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everyone's nodding, yeah. So the camera's not nodding. Okay. Um, so we'll see you then. If we did art yoga, would it be hot? Not you and I, but like if we were to, if art yoga was like, would it be like hot yoga? Or would you? Hot yoga, nothing would dry. Yeah, hot yoga is uh, torture uh, that you pay for, where you put yourself and hold yourself in extremely uncomfortable positions in extreme heat and 100% humidity. It's a steam room where you're holding. And then 120 degrees in there. Yeah, oh, God. It's, you like it, huh? I can't imagine the smell that comes out of that. Because I sweat enough just doing goat yoga. Yeah, you went to goat yoga. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs>